A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night is written and directed by Anna Lily Amirpour. It stars Sheila Vand, Arash Malandi, Mojan Mano and Marshall Manesh, as well as Masuka, the cat who steals every shot that they're in, I promise you. But this took a long while to get to. I It was one of those that was on the list, you know, we all have one, especially if you're over 30, and it grows and grows and grows. But, you know, some days I was like, I don't feel like an arty kind of thing that's black and white. Some days it was, I want something short. Sometimes I wanted to watch something very specific. Sometimes I just had to divert my energies elsewhere. So I had to kind of think about, you know, when I wanted to watch this. And then a situation arose and this felt like a good fit, but I'll cover that later. So first of all, yeah, I do really enjoy this. I don't think it's the most amazing thing in the world. I think the hype around it you know, years ago has kind of given me a specific expectation, but I didn't hate it. I enjoyed it for what it was. It's been described as an Iranian Western vampire film, which made me think of Near Dark, and I will do a video on that, as well as Let the Right One In. There's elements of that that feel, or, you know, elements of this that feel like that. But I, I do love this. I thought it was absolutely brilliant, you know, seeing people like Sheila Vand, who I recognise from Snowpiercer, and Marshall Manesh from How I Met Your Mother. I mean, there's a whole issue here with Ranjit being technically South Asian, I would say by the name, but Marshall Manesh is Iranian. It's a common thing in Hollywood where people of a particular background, because they look a bit like someone else from a different background, they're used interchangeably. There's the counter argument that they're still getting work, but I still think it's not great, but I don't have the right cultural background to really make a case for that. It's not a massive issue and doesn't detract from this film. That is a separate discussion. But I loved so much of how this was presented, how the first time we saw her attacking Saeed the pimp, you know, we, we have the music lowering in the mix and the teeth pop. There was a lot of care and consideration in how this was presented. And I loved it. A lot of the songs, obviously, because it's in Farsi, I don't know what they're singing about, but, you know, it fits the mood. It works, and there's a, there's a lot to love about this film, and I, I'm glad that I finally got around to it. But there is the issue of why now, of all times, did I choose to watch it. And it is simply the man-bear discourse. If you're not as chronically online as some then I will give you a brief overview. So the idea is that women were asked, you're walking in the woods and you either come across a bear or a strange man. Strange in this case, not meaning peculiar, but unfamiliar. And most women chose the bear. Most men tended to respond in one of two ways. The first, the less ideal one, was basically, do you know bears are dangerous? And yes, they do. But the thing about a bear, if, you know, it's well fed, if you're not disturbing it, you're not causing it any harm, or you're not thinking it's at risk of harm, it hasn't got cubs that it's looking after, all that kind of stuff, it'll probably leave you alone. Yes, they have big teeth and big claws, but you don't poke the bear, basically. A strange man, however, there's all these nuances that humanity has. Sometimes someone might seem totally fine and then all of a sudden flip on you, and yes, animals do that as well, granted. But the fact of the matter is, with a bear, there's a bit more certainty. Thankfully, some men have come forward and totally understood that and gone, yes, I totally get why. Many women have, have been you know, at risk of harm or even directly harmed by men they know and men they don't know. It is a bad thing. It is something that we need to be mindful of. I strongly believe that everyone should make everyone else feel as safe and welcome and comfortable as possible. I'm not saying, you know, we need to have this wishy-washy society where no conflict happens, but healthy conflict versus someone feeling abused or at risk of abuse, it's a very different thing. So that's how I, I see this. You know, this is a wake-up call to all the men going, but bears are dangerous, you're the problem. You're the reason that the bear's been chosen. But me choosing this film was because of the subversion aspect of it. The, the name of the film, A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. There is an image that is conjured, whether it's Iranian or not. We understand this idea of this, this vulnerable person on their own, at risk from predators, whatever form that predator may take. And I love that this flips it. It goes, no, this woman, this girl, 
is the threat, is the danger, is the predator. And even then, she's still sort of logical with it, unlike these strange men. With Arash, because she sees that he's kind of harmless, she's not going to do anything to him. He's not like Saeed the pimp. He's not going to be a bad influence on anything you know he's not perfect because no one is but she feels like he's not a risk and doesn't want to take him out the fact as well with the, the little urchin i think he's referred to in the credits she doesn't attack him she scares him into being good it's basically grow up to be the man that women would choose instead of the bear that's why i chose to watch this now that's why i'm talking about it now and I finally got to weigh in on the bear discourse, so it's kind of twofold. I kind of wanted to perhaps do that at some point, but this has enabled me to do it. But like I say, it reminded me of these other things that I really enjoy as well. I love vampire media. The fact that I talked about John Carpenter's Vampires, which is a vampire western, says a lot. So yeah, Near Dark should be next week with Let the Right One In to follow. But there is something else I want to float in there that people have requested. So sometime over the next three weeks, hopefully, we'll we'll have those two and something else. But stay tuned to it. And yeah, thanks for letting me talk about this as always. And until next time, take care. And watch out for girls walking alone at night.